Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 13th of July, 2011. 37 years ago this day, Patrick Blackett died. He won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1948 for his work on cosmic rays. And so he could be considered legitimately the father of modern geophysics. And hence space weather, which is what we're really talking about here. He also happened to be a peer of the realm. So today's trivia question is, what peerage did he hold? The answer will be given at the end. So let's take a look at the GOES x-ray plot and see what flares have occurred in the last 24 hours. But all we've had is one very sharp C flare and a bunch of medium level B flares. The x-ray background is stabilized at about the B2 level. And so this would imply there's not very much growth going on. A glance at the sunspot data show us why. Regions 1247, 1249 and 1245 have all decayed to single spot regions. Region 1250 seems very similar to yesterday and hasn't grown very much. Region 1251 is a single large spot. All the other unnumbered regions that I identified yesterday seem to have decayed away. So there seems to be widespread magnetic decay across the sun. There are two regions following along behind region 1251. But they are unnumbered yet and I can't think why because if you look at the magnetic data it's clear that there are three regions there. There's also some bright plage coming over the southeast limb, which may be the next return of a, of a significant region. But we're going to have to wait a day or two to see what spots, if any, are there. The sunspot and magnetic movies from the HMI instrument on the Solar Dynamics Observatory show us the decay of these regions over the last 48 hours. Note how the trailing spots in region 1250 initially grow quite rapidly and then decay away towards the end of the sequence. It is also my impression in the magnetic movie that some of the regions are getting more diffuse and spread out, which probably explains why they're not producing very many flares. My apologies today for the quality of the AIA data, which is very patchy and incomplete. Considering NASA is paying a commercial company quite handsomely to produce this data for us, I think that they need to get some of their money back. However, in the Transition Region movie and the two Coronal movies, you can see quite a lot of things going on. The most active regions seem to be those near the East Limb. So we have some hope for improved activity in the near future. You can also see in the southeast a new region coming over the limb, which is probably associated with that bright plage I mentioned earlier. Once again, the Soho chronographs are presenting us with a paucity of data, but there doesn't seem to be a great deal going on anyway, so we aren't missing very much. The ACE spacecraft gives us information on the solar wind, and in the last 24 hours we can see that the temperature of the solar wind has dropped, as has the speed whereas the density has remained relatively constant at less than one proton per cubic centimetre. This means that we're probably exiting the high-speed solar wind stream that we've been in for the last 24 hours or so. NOAA 15 provides us with data on the auroral zone. The most recent picture shows it's rather quiescent at the moment. This corresponds to the KP index, which has been varying between 0 and 3, which are rated as quiet. So in summary then, the X-ray background remains at B2, the sunspot number is at 62, the radio sun intensity is at 92, the solar wind speed is at 520 km per second but with a density of less than one proton per cubic centimeter, and geospace conditions are rated as quiet. I've downgraded my 24 hour forecast slightly. Chance of C flares are poor, whereas the chance of getting M or X flares are very poor. The sunspot number seems to be going lower. Chance of getting CMEs is quite good. There are a couple of angry looking filaments on the sun at the moment, particularly in the southeast. The solar wind speed should go lower. The chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is poor. However, we may be hit by that uh, CME that we saw a couple of days ago, sometime tomorrow. That could make the geospace conditions go up to, say, minus storm. In the longer term, we have those regions coming over the southeast limb, and then there are several days before we get anything significant back. The answer to the trivia question is that he was a baron. If you want to find out more about what's going on on the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel, they're all listed there along with some global warming videos that you might find fun to watch. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.